Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and I want to share with you guys how to clean your polishing pads on the fly. I'm in the middle of polishing this Jeep Crane Cherokee, and I'm using the Rupes Medium Wool Polishing Pad. These are my absolute favorite if I want to do kind of an all-in-one, a heavy cut, finish down nicely, kind of medium soft paint as this Jeep has here. It's not hard paint at all, but even on hard paint, these are fantastic. But I want to share with you how I clean my pads on the fly. Now there's a multitude of different ways that you could do it. You could do one pad per panel, take it off, wash them at the end, you're good to go. It's very fast and efficient. But what if you have pads that are expensive like these ones? These are almost $15 a pad. I have three pads total because obviously I have a multitude of different pads from orange, yellow, you know, wool, LC foam. I, I mean, I have dozens of types and hundreds of types of pads. So I don't want to necessarily have to spend $100 just for one type of pad to be able to do one vehicle. So I'm going to share with you a quick way that I clean pads on the fly. So what we're going to do, this is just a bucket of water. I'm not done. Don't worry. All right. This is going to be a little bit tricky to do with one hand. We're going to squeeze this out. We're going to do a little balancing act for just a second. Hang on. I got super clean, four to one. Don't fall, little guy. Don't fall. All right, we're just gonna spray that down. We're gonna work that into our panel. I'm doing this with one hand, so forgive me. I'm actually gonna come over here. I'm gonna grab my grit guard so I can put this down on the ground and not have y'all judging me. Oh, I can hear the screams. I'm just kidding. All right, so we've got it on a higher pressure, not necessarily super high pressure. And we're just gonna rinse this out. Get that away from my electrical cord. This is not a video on how to electrocute yourself. Not today! All right, you can see. Yeah, I know, being a little rough. All right, so now we're gonna take this. We're gonna take our DA polisher. Try to quick line that up. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna put it on speed three. Point it away from you or you're gonna get really wet. Like I just did. And then bump it up. And just spin it. Until you can almost see. Is there water? Just a little bit. All right, we're gonna take that. God, slow down, little guy. You can see, nice and spun and wrung out. It's not perfect, but when I am working on a vehicle. I don't necessarily need it to be perfect because I'm just going to be adding more compound to it. And then we're going to lay it in the sun. So I have three. By the time I am done using one pad, having the other one laid out, the third one is clean, ready to go. This is actually dry. I've only had it sitting in the sun for about 10 minutes because that's about as long as it takes for me to do two panels. So hopefully that helps you guys with being able to just you know, clean your pads quick on the fly. You don't necessarily need a bucket. A grid guard helps just to lay it flat. You can even lay it on that if you don't have a surface to lay it on. You can lay it on your grid guard, kind of two or three at a time. You don't necessarily need to use super clean. You can use F-bomb. You can use palm olive dish soap, anything. You can even use a detail brush to agitate. I was just doing it super quick. But if you have a bucket, detail brush, whatever it is that you're gonna be cleaning with, go ahead, rinse that off and then spin dry with your DA and you're done lay it out flat to dry, you're good to go. Three pads, you can do your entire vehicle. You don't necessarily have to spend an arm and a leg buying enough pads to do the entire vehicle. Now you're gonna have faster wear and tear. You can see I've had these ones for probably four or five months. They're starting to wear on me, but they're holding up pretty good because I'm washing them after every panel, making sure they're not getting super hot. I'm not overworking the fibers. I will wash them after every panel for the most part. Now if it's one of these end panels here, the, the wheel panels, I'll do you know, two of those with one pad, but one panel for each of these pads, we're good to go. Hope you guys enjoy that quick little video and keep polishing on. Have a great day. Subscribe to find out more tips and educational products and just hear some awesomeness from me, but we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.